spot. There we go. Yeah, there you go. There's a real sporty, sporty one. Oh. I think that's a netter. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Boys really pull. You know, one thing you look at uh, top water fishing, what's really critical is a rod, reel, and line. You know, to not only to cast the bait, to fish the bait, to set the hook and land the, the bait, the rod, rod is really critical. Here we go, can you get that guy out of there? Here we're gonna have to need some work here. Let's get this down in here. Yeah, not a real whopper, but a nice one. Real leaper. We'll get her back in the water. Come here, buddy. Come here. There we go. As I was saying, rod, reel, and line is really critical for topwater fishing. My weapon of choice here is a St. Croix 610 Legend Elite Rod. One thing that's really critical about topwater fishing is for a couple of different things. You want to make a long cast, you want a softer action rod to impart action into the bait, and also for hook setting to land the fish. So when you look at this rod, this is a medium power, fast action. It's sort of softer thing. The biggest thing is also is the reel too. I got a uh, HD zillion spooled with 14 pound test uh, suffix elite line. Monofilament is really critical. I like mono versus floral carbon or braid in this application. Uh, this is a really cool reel. It's an amazing reel that casts. It's got this T-wing system for making long casts, some sort of a mag brake system. It's got a fa fabulous carbon drag. It's just a really high-end reel for this application. There we go. Whoa. Oh, yeah. I like the way he's hooked, right on the tail hook. It goes to show you, you can see how that, yeah. just sipping on him. There's one. Oh. Ooh. That's the right size. Yeah. Whoa. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Come on, get right in here. Go, go right in here. Come here, come here. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, and there you go. There you go. Oh, look. Almost look went for the tail net there. <laughs> it was, it would, look at that. Came there off you in the go. net. Wow. Interesting right now that the fish are really sort of tentative. They're liking topwater baits, but the thing is, is it almost seems like you actually have to let the bait sit there for a longer period of time to trigger strikes. You know, we've been experimenting with a, a wide variety of, of different uh, of baits. Uh, we've had prop baits on, we've actually had uh, jump baits or the skitter V. And we've actually had some of those fish, but they're so uh, really tentative, it seems like the popper is one of the better baits in the fact that you can let it sit there for a longer period of time. The beginning of the retrieve, a lot of times what I'm gonna do is hold my rod up high like this and give it a really distinct boom, boom. There's a, a wide variety of different ways to fish this uh, bait. Uh, a lot of guys that, you know, you fish on uh, shad-based lakes like in mid-south reservoirs, and a lot of times they're gonna fish the bait like this never stop the bait. You're constantly skittering the bait on the surface and it's going pop, 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 pop. Really a sort of a quick retreat like this. You'll notice as I'm up high and about halfway back, I'm gonna drop the rod tip low and fish it in a little bit farther. And then after I'm 15, 20 feet away from the boat, pick up and make another cast again. <laughs> 